Look at that. Collards. It's been a month and a half, and we've pretty much just had asparagus and rhubarb. And now all of a sudden, everything is in, in season on the farm. We have collards, we have green onions, we have a whole bunch of new stuff. And that has an interesting psychological effect on me because I get to eat on the farm. I can go through the cooler and take what uh, we're not going to sell. And uh, the problem is, I want it all. Uh, I've been deprived for all year, and suddenly everything is here. So what can I make with collards, green onions, dill, and asparagus? What, what recipe has all those things? I mean, I made one. I made it into pasta sauce, and it was delicious. We don't have zucchini yet, but I just think zucchini looks really cool. I mean, look at this. It looks like some alien satellite thing. And I'll show you how much I mean like that because I did a time lapse. Look at this. Look at how the leaves and the flowers, they track around the sun. It just rotates all day. I can just imagine it up in space going, boop, boop, zucchini, zucchini. Now I want to take you on a search for the lair of the mythical wireworm. Wireworm is this pest that every farmer I've ever met has had terrible things to say about. Um, it eats holes in potatoes, so potato farmers hate it. Um, they hate it on the, on the grains because I'm not sure what it does on the grains. I haven't got there yet, but uh, presumably it eats grains. Um, and here on the farm, well, it eats all sorts of things, but lettuce in particular. Um, we planted a lot of lettuce. Um, they sell a lot of lettuce here on the farm. And inevitably, every time we've planted, a couple days later, we walk down, and some of them are a little bit shriveled up. And Kate, our farm manager, showed me something. She showed me that if you reach in and pull it out, and you look carefully at the root ball, inevitably you'll find a wireworm that has eaten the root and killed the plant. So we're going to go searching for the wireworm. Let's see if we can find one here. Don't seem to have one in there. Let's try another one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is a wireworm. Uh, and it's orange and kind of wiry. Presumably that's why they call it a wireworm. And I was instructed that these are kill on sight, so tear it in half. That's wireworm. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm taking requests for uh, other time lapses of things growing, so. If there's something that you think would make a cool time lapse, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can make one. Um, other than that, um, you can subscribe to the channel um, and uh, get more of these updates. Um, I also really encourage you to go to thehandsthatfeedus.ca. That's a website uh, about the film, the documentary film that I'm making while I'm doing this. Um, so that's all about farmers and how farmers are coping with COVID. Um, last, you can uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, theoretically. Um, I think I'm trying to move more towards YouTube, so catch me there first, but I am on other social media as well. So, see you next week.